All right, hey guys, uh, here we are in Daniel chapter 3. Uh, when last we spoke, we got introduced to the statue that Nebuchadnezzar had been dreaming about in chapter 2. And in chapter 3, we get reintroduced to kind of sort of the same statue, but not really. So uh, we'll get into that here in a little bit. But uh, here's your background information for Daniel chapter 3. All right, first of all, um, one note or observation that you should probably have is the fact that Daniel does not show up in this chapter. This is the chapter dedicated to his three buddies, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Um, and a lot of people assume that because Daniel was promoted at the end of chapter 2, he is off in the Babylonian region uh, doing some of his administrative responsibility and therefore he's not in chapter 3. Um, but this is the one, this is the chapter that we're all familiar about or familiar with since our youth. This is the fiery furnace, right? So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they get thrown into a fiery furnace. Um, they survive, and obviously you probably are aware of that story, but there's a lot of background information and additional information that we will go through in each one of these video lectures, all right? A um, couple other notes to keep in mind. This chapter takes place approximately 20 years after the events of chapter two. Um, and that is kind of a key thought as we get into the next video session here in a minute. Um, but again, the time frame as you read chapter two and then transition into chapter three, the time frame that we're looking at is about 20 years, right? Um, and then there's really two main themes of the chapter. One of them is idolatry, and we'll get into that a lot more specifically. Um, but the other one is convictions. And what does it mean to stand for your convictions even in the midst of death? Um, and so that's obviously something that we'll talk about as we get further into this as well. Um, as it relates to idolatry, one of the things that we are reminded of is the fact that everybody falls for something. Everybody worships something. Um, in Acts chapter 17, Paul is in Athens and he comes up in verse 22. It says here, Paul then stood up in the meeting of the Areopagus and said, men of Athens, I see that in every way you are very religious. For as I walked around and looked carefully at your objects of worship, I even found an altar with this inscription, to an unknown God. Now, what you worship is something unknown, I am going to proclaim to you. We see that same thought in Daniel chapter 3, and uh, we'll get into that a little bit more. But again, the two main themes are idolatry and convictions. What does it mean to stand for your convictions? All right, so that's kind of where we're going, and we'll talk to you in the next lecture. All right, see you.